Uh oh. Just outside Earth, look what we found. A probe has managed to find Earth. That's not good. We need to eliminate it as quick as possible. Let's just take it down. This is Probe 2418 B on a peaceful mission. We come in peace too, please believe us! This is Probe 2418-B. We seek to make friendly contact with alien life forms. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. They don't seem too friendly. I mean, they keep attacking us. They haven't shown any sign of kind of friendliness yet. Um, let's just take the Turbo Diesel 4098. The flagship to battle, the Nova Mace, let's just take it down with our point defense lasers. They're pretty powerful now. Two trooper hit, and it's down. Look at that. Right, so we're going to head off to Earth now and find out as much as we can about that clear spindle. Give it off to the scientists at Starbase. Um, Pekunk had no use for it, but I wonder if we do. Let's have a look. First of all, I'm going to go to the shipyard and fill up on some crew. Um, so let's do that quickly. And we've got these Pekunk ships. I test them between episodes. They're not really this useful, that useful really. Um, but I did find out that they are very expensive. And you can see they are giving us 2,000 EU per Pekunk ship. So that's probably worth doing. Um, they only have 8 crew as well, so they have a very short lifespan, just like the Arrowloom ships, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use that very well. We have 10,000 IU now to spend, which is pretty cool. So I guess we can outfit our Starship uh, with a bit more fuel, just fill up those high efficiency fuel tanks, which is good. Um, do we need any more modules? I don't think so. I mean, I'm going to go on a big mining trip later on this episode, so I'm going to keep the storage bays, I think. Three dynamos, two fusion blasters, two point defense weapons. Might want to get some more point defense weapons at some point, but they're pretty expensive. Um, but I think for now, we're fine. Uh, yeah. I'm just considering maybe having an extra fusion blaster instead of a dynamo. Don't know if that's a good idea though. Uh, the thing is, the gun's right at the, the, uh, the thing there. Well, you know what, I'm, I think I'm just going to forget about it because. Um, the guns on this, they kind of shoot to the side, which is pretty much useless really, and it just it's just an additional waste of fuel really, so... I think I'm going to buy uh, an extra Ors Nemesis, since I really like these ships, actually, they're very powerful. Um, the Marines are really um, good at just taking down ships very quickly if you get a lot of the Marines in. And you don't lose the Marines as well, they come back, which is awesome. So let's see if we can analyse this clear spindle. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, clear spindle device. Data, the object in question has no clear use or means of activation, but does have superconductive characteristics between 18 and 22 degrees centigrade. We suspect that it is a precursor manufacturer, but we cannot be certain without extended study. Summary, in all likelihood, this object is part of a larger device whose capabilities remain unknown. That's the end of our scientist's report. Right, so it basically is completely useless, but he did say that it might be part of a bigger construction, so we may have to find out what that means. Maybe there is something we are going to have to build in the future uh, with the clear spindle, I don't know. I don't know why they give that item to us. The Pekunk said it would be useful in our future, and if they can kind of tell the future, then I guess they're telling the truth. So now I want to head off to Spathy Space and find out what's been going on with them, since their whole sphere of influence has completely disappeared. Um, that is probably not a good thing, since I think they may be completely decimated, maybe. Maybe, maybe by the ores, maybe by the, um, the Urquan. Hopefully not the ores, because that would be a little bit awkward since we use a lot of the ores ships. Don't want to lose the ores, because that would be pretty bad. The, the bad thing is, really, is that if it is the ores, then all of our ships are Spathian ore ships, and it would be good to kind of lose two alliances at once, really. Um, or if it is the Urquan, then we're going to be, have to be careful, because there may be a few uh, Urquan ships snooping around the uh, Spathy space. Um, 
We're just going to have to wait and see. I don't really know what the quasi space portal is for. If there is one near Spathy Space, I'm going to have to find out. But uh, for now, I'm just going to take the safe option of just heading through hyperspace. Well, not really the safe option, really. I just didn't really think that I needed to. I'm halfway through anyway now, so I might as well just get there via hyperspace. So we would be in Spathy Space now, but it's gone. So doesn't seem to be any Spathy ships chasing me, so they're definitely something's happened to them. Let's enter the planetary system. Oh. It's gone red. Is that a slave shield? It's a slave shield, isn't it? It's red. Why would the Urquan slave shield them? When we first talked to us back here, they said there'd be no turning back on their choice to fight. So why is, it, why is there a slave shield? I can't get in, I can't dispatch, I can't auto-scan. Damn, so we can't do anything. What the hell? Let's go to the moon. We couldn't go to the moon last time. Are they still there or have they moved in? Aha, we can move, We can go into the, the moon. What's down there? Energy signatures? Yes, there's an energy signature. And also some lovely exotic minerals. But I definitely want to go and check out this energy signature, see what it is. It's a... It's a blue blob with some spikes coming out of it. Let's let's go and see what it is. You've got to be joking me. So the Spathy have actually managed to recreate the Slayer Shield and trap themselves in so they can't get killed. Well, that's brilliant, because now we've got no chance of getting any more Spathy ships. So we've got two Spathy ships. Should have bought more while I had the chance. I didn't know they were going to do something stupid like this, though. And they've just given us some Hyperwave Caster, which the Umga used to trick the Ilrath, I guess. I think that's what it said. Um... So, maybe this story is true, so the Umgar, yeah, Umgar caster. And I can't use it. Maybe I have to use it in hyperspace, that'd be cool. So you can, like, cool, we can, like, I guess we can trick, like, the Ilrath? Can we trick the Ilrath ourselves, maybe? That'd be cool. Like, get them on our side, somehow. I don't know. Maybe stop them from attacking the Pekunkle together. Well guys, I have just been on a little mining trip, and look what I found. I found another probe, we're going to go to it now. I'm going to be mining a few planets, so these next few shots are going to be me destroying probes and mining planets. Around an emerald world, we here's another probe. And seek to establish grand relations with your species. Well, for some reason, I don't believe you. Again. I think there must be something wrong here, because... Every single time, unless they're just just trolling us every single time. Data gathering, contacting alien life forms in peaceful manner. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component material. Yes, don't care. Just we might as well just press attack. There's no point unless they give us some useful information at some point. I might as well just press attack. Not even kind of converse with them. Again, just take the. Uh, Nova Mace into battle. Oh, just actually shot there. Let's see if we can actually hit them with this new weapon. I'm just going to go with the point defense. So much easier. Just keep pressing secondary. Ooh, a little bit of a planet there. Energize. Okay, let's hit it. There we go. Down goes another 
2418-B. They're all called that because they're just replicating all the time. So I guess it was just like one and it just managed to replicate over and over again. I don't know. But here we go. We've got an emerald world, um, which is cool. Let's go and uh, mine it and see what they've got. Ooh, very nice. Lots of stuff. And here we are again at a sapphire world this time. Delta Tori. There's like tons of sapphire worlds here. It's awesome. At Delta Tori. If you ever need anything, just go to Delta Tori. That is we the place to, to mine. More about you. Um, but here's another stupid Please probe. Transmit data. <sighs> yeah. replication status. I just don't know what to do with these guys. Next replication 85% complete. Estimated replication since departure from point of origin. 583 replications. Estimated replications projected one year from this date. 14,784 replications. Estimated replications projected five years from this date. 45,786,412 replications. Priority override. May behavior dictated. Must break target into component. Material. How many did he say in five years? 45 million. Well, we've definitely got to find a way to stop these guys because this could be a problem. Um, in one year, there's going to be 15,000 anyway, that's still a lot. Uh, but, okay, obviously the main weapons is better at killing these guys. You have to aim, but I guess it's a lot quicker. Still, it's an extra 550 RUs. And now it's just time to go back to mining. Another Sapphire World, awesome. Right, so I finally finished all my mining, got a lot of exotic materials, so we should have a pretty huge amount of resources. Um, I'm going to stop by the Aralu, um, because I want to talk to them about that uh, Umga thing going on with the Dinyari. Um, that talking pet. Obviously, they didn't realise that that talking pet was going to be so bad. Um, and the Umga are kind of acting really strange. Uh, so, I guess either the Aralu have something to do with it, or they you know, uh, they don't know what's going on, maybe they're going to send some people to go and find out for us, I don't know, because they obviously know more about what's going on than we do. So let's head over to their home world. Here we go. Looks a bit like Earth, actually. Welcome back to Faleolorophily, Captain. Perhaps in the fullness of time, we will let you visit the surface of our world. There are many beauties here, unmatched anywhere. The mountain clouds of thought, the tangible wish, the dark. Unfortunately, you are not yet acclimated. Premature exposure to these would render you numb. Sounds like a strange world down there. But uh, I guess we're going to ask about the Umgar, why they're mm. acting like zombie blobbies. This is disturbing news. They are normally rambunctious to an extreme. We will send ships to Umga space to investigate. We should have some answers in a few days' time. Right, so at least they are going to send people, find out what's going on. Um, hopefully they can work out more than we could, and they can give us some information. Um, so, in a few days' time, I guess we can go and do something quickly, and then come back to Quasi Space, and um, find out if they found anything. And hopefully a way to stop that Dinyari as well, because we're going to have to uh, find a way to stop him, because he seems pretty dangerous. But at the same time, you know, he could... The Urquan did seem pretty afraid of him, um, so maybe he could be useful um, in destroying the Urquan, or at least kind of taking control of them, I guess. Um, and we want to use the... Once we meet the Urquan, we haven't really done that yet. Uh, if we do meet the Urquan, we definitely want to use the words on them, um, because apparently that uh, is a good way to get information from them. So, let's uh, get back to Earth, and um, first of all drop off all our minerals, we should have a ton of uh, re uh, RUs, I'm going to guess 20,000, um, because there's, I just got so many exotics, like pretty much half of those um, storage bays are filled with exotics, so that's going to be awesome to get loads of RUs and then buy tons of ships and awesome stuff for our flagship. So let's head back to Commander Hayes and see if he's got any more news for us.